Hi all, this is Silvaja here. Welcome to my networking channel. The purpose of this channel is to cover from basic to advanced networking including the latest networking technologies. Today the topic I am going to discuss about VTP pruning. Before that let us understand what is VTP. VTP is a VLAN trunking protocol for sharing VLAN information across all the switches in the same VTP domain. So what is VTP pruning? It enhances the network bandwidth by reducing unnecessary flooded traffic such as broadcast, multicast and unicast. It also increases the bandwidth by restricting the flooded traffic to those trunkling. So by default VTP pruning is disabled. Now let us discuss how VTP pruning exactly works. So here I have connected 4 switches. One is in VTP server mode and the remaining 3 switches are in VTP client mode. So provided all the switches are configured for the same VTP domain. So this switch I configured with VLAN 2 and this switch I configured with VLAN 3. So whenever the host in VLAN 3 send information via this trunkling, the information will be forwarded via broadcast to all other trunkling to other, other switches. So even this trunkling will carry VLAN 2 and the VLAN 3 information. So on this specific trunkling, VLAN 3 is an unnecessary traffic. The same way in this trunkling, VLAN 2 is an unnecessary traffic because this switch is only configured for VLAN 2 and this is switch is configured only for VLAN 3, right? So the VLAN 3 is an unnecessary broadcast on this specific trunkling. So to reduce or remove the unnecessary broadcast on this specific trunkling, we are using VTP pruning. So whenever if VTP pruning is enabled on this server switch, automatically only the VLAN 2 broadcast will be forwarded to this switch and this trunkling will forward only VLAN 3 information. So the unnecessary broadcast will be reduced. In such way we can enhance or increase the network bandwidth. So what are the ways I can enable VTP pruning? So go to the configuration mode and specify VTP pruning or switchboard trunk pruning we can prune any unwanted VLAN. The third way I can do is switchboard trunk allowed VLAN. So this is for allowing any specific VLAN on the trunk. I hope you understood. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me for more videos. Thank you.